Now, in a small piece of history, Emma Maudsley of the National Army Museum presents a favourite object from the collection. This beautiful painting shows one of the most touching scenes in the National Army Museum collection. It shows a scene in 1792 at the conclusion of the Third Mysore War when the British Army demanded the defeated Tipu Sultan to pay a ransom. And they took these two young princes, his two sons, as hostage to ensure that their father paid this 33 million rupee ransom. In the painting you can see the arrival of the two young princes being taken hostage by Lord Cornwallis, um, they're being uh, escorted by the court. They have here Ghulam Ali Khan, who's the representative of, the, of, of Tipu, being carried on a silver chair. And there are camels and elephants and a whole entourage, and even Tipu's uh, soldiers. One of the soldiers is even wearing um, the symbol of Tipu Sultan's rule. He was called the Tiger of Mysore and his army wore a uniform which was decorated with a stylized tiger stripes called Boubri. The artist, Robert Holm, was a witness to the scene and he actually included a portrait of himself on the far left-hand side of the canvas and he's shown holding a portfolio under his arm, uh, standing rather relaxed pose with his legs crossed. This image is, is, uh, was, was, can be seen as part of the British propaganda showing uh, British paternalism towards India. That Lord Cornwallis was uh, taking care of these two young boys, taking them away to look after them, rather than the fact that they're actually hostages. <laughs>